So, hello friends. Uh, today we are going to study a very important topic: Sturm Lavalley's problem. Uh, actually, this is a boundary value problem. In short, we are uh, telling this is SLP. This is very important topic for uh, engineering mathematics, any competitive exam like CSIR or GATE. So, uh, one question will be there. For engineering mathematics, uh, they will ask uh, find the eigenvalue and eigenfunction. And uh, for competitive exam, they, uh, sometimes they ask uh, find eigenvalue, eigenvector, and sometimes uh, they ask a question based on its properties. So we will discuss all this concept in this video. So what is the stem lovelace problem? It is of the form Rx y dash of dash plus px plus lambda qx of y uh, y is equal to 0 with respect to boundary condition uh, alpha 1 y at a plus alpha 2 y dash at a is equal to 0 beta 1 y at b plus beta 2 y dash at b is equal to 0. So this problem is known as SLP. Uh, this is general form. Uh, actually, uh, mostly the question based on uh, this type. Uh, find the eigenvalues and eigenfunction for boundary value problem y double dash plus lambda y is equal to 0 with respect to boundary condition y at 0 is equal to 0 y at pi is equal to 0. So my dear friends uh, in this uh, lambda is called eigenvalue lambda is called eigenvalue and corresponding solution y is called eigenfunction. So whenever they ask find the eigenvalues and corresponding eigenfunction for stem lovelace problem, it means you have to calculate lambda value for which y is non-trivial, means y is non-zero. Hope you understand. We have to calculate lambda value such that y is non-zero solution. So, always, my friends, always you have to calculate lambda by three cases. Case first, when, because lambda is eigenvalues and we know eigenvalues are numbers, scalars. Scalars means either zero or positive or negative. So, when lambda is equal to zero, First case, when lambda is 0, always you have to choose. When lambda 0, this equation 1, from equation 1, what we get? Put lambda value 0 here. Y double dash is equal to 0. Its solution is Y is equal to C1X plus C2. Correct? You say this equation number 2. Now, you use the boundary condition. What is given boundary condition? Y at 0 is equal to 0. It means from 2, what we get? C2 is equal to 0. Because when X 0, Y value 0. When you put here, what do you get? C2 0. Again, what is second boundary condition? Y at pi is equal to 0. It means 0 is equal to C1 pi. It means C1 is equal to 0. So, from 2, what is y? y is 0. Trivial. And already I told, we have to calculate those lambda for which y is non-zero. Because eigenvalues, uh, eigenvectors are non-zero column vector. So, uh, same uh, logic we apply here. We have to calculate that y which is non-trivial. 
so case first always you have to go for this so uh, what is second case case second is when already we have taken zero so remaining two case means when lambda is negative and when lambda is positive when lambda is negative value it means minus mu square where mu is any constant so minus mu square always negative then what happened from one what we get y double dash minus mu square y is equal to zero how we solve this one by auxiliary method the auxiliary equation is m square minus mu square is equal to zero it means m value is plus minus mu so what is y value y is nothing c1 e to the power mu x plus c2 e to the power minus mu x this is equation number three now use boundary condition boundary condition means uh, first boundary condition is y at zero is equal to zero it means zero is equal to c1 plus c2 uh, equation number four from thread uh, again what is second one y at pi is equal to zero it means zero is equal to c1 e to the power mu pi plus c2 e to the power minus mu pi this is equation number four solving four and five we get c1 zero c2 is equal to zero you can solve by any method this implies from third what is y value again zero trivial solution so my friend uh, uh, in both the case we got zero solution it means we have to go for you a uh, third case what is case third case third that is the last case when lambda is positive positive means lambda is equal to mu square so when lambda is equal to mu square from one what we get y double dash plus mu square y is equal to zero you know uh, its solution is y is equal to c1 cos mu x plus c2 sin mu x hope you know this uh, because uh, when you find out its uh, write out its auxiliary equation m square plus mu square zero m value is plus minus iota mu so it means the solution is this one now we have solution now we uh, put boundary condition what is boundary condition first is uh, y at zero is equal to zero it means uh, c1 is equal to zero so what is remaining y is equal to c2 sin mu x correct why because when y g x, x zero means cos zero one sin zero zero so only c1 is remaining here c1 is equal to zero uh, so what when c1 zero put here what we get c2 sin mu x now what is second case so second boundary condition is y at pi is equal to zero it means the zero is equal to c2 sin mu pi it means sin mu pi is equal to zero and zero means sin n pi so what we get cancel uh, take sin versus both sides so mu pi is equal to n pi 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 cancel so we got the uh, get the mu value is the, what is that mu is equal to n so mu is equal to n it means what is y y is c2 mu value n so sin n x so uh, my friends uh, this is non zero solution it means this is eigen function so uh, what is the answer answer is very clear what is lambda value this implies eigen values are lambda is equal to mu square and what is mu square n square where what is n n is integer correct so uh, integer means either you take one means one four nine six in these all are eigen values okay uh, now uh, what is uh, eigen function is y is equal to 
सी साइन एन एक्स सो दिस इज करिस्पॉन्डिंग आइगन फंक्शन वॉट एवर एन वैल्यू यू चूज यू जस्ट पुट एंड यू विल गेट करिस्पॉन्डिंग आइगन फंक्शन सो नो नो फ्रेंड आई एम गोइंग टू टेल अबाउट इट्स प्रॉपर्टीज प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ दिस before uh, i will tell properties my friends one the important thing what is the procedure procedure is very simple why double dash plus lambda y is equal to 0 always they will give they will change what boundary condition boundary condition means here uh, in this question we have given taken y at 0 is equal to 0 y at pi is equal to 0 they can give different type boundary condition only so your work is just you have to go One by one, all three cases. When lambda value zero, when lambda is minus mu square, and when lambda is mu square means when lambda zero positive and negative. Find out corresponding solution for each and every type, every case. Once you got get the solution, just you check which is non-zero. The non-zero solution is called eigen function, and corresponding lambda value is called eigen value. Now I'm going to tell about its properties properties are very important for competitive exam if you go and write any competitive exam that time property will help so properties uh, first property first property is the eigen values of slp are always real value correct what is second property the number of eigen values of slp are countably infinite why because see uh, what is lambda here lambda is n square what is n n is integer integers are countable countable means countably infinite third case the sequence of eigen values of slp are monotonic increasing order that is lambda 1 is lower then lambda 2 is greater than that then lambda 3 and that is so it means it is bounded below but not bounded above and bounded below and bounded below by lambda 1 what is fourth property fourth property is very important the number of zeros the number of zeros of eigen function of given eigen value r root lambda minus 1 What is this? This meaning. Uh, hope you know about zeros. Zeros means root. So root of any polynomial. It means where the graph cuts x. Uh, the graph cuts x-axis. That is the root. So the root means zeros. So uh, what is the meaning of that? See what, uh, so what is the first eigenvalues of this equation. Uh, this problem. Lambda is equal to one. For Lambda is equal to one. What is corresponding eigen function? Y is equal to c sine x. Now, friends, uh, we are going to. It means how many zeros are there for this function? In which, in interval a comma b, uh, where a and b are boundaries. So uh, we will check here. So what is boundary here? Zero comma pi. so in 0 comma pi using the formula how many zeros are there what is lambda value 1 so root 1 means 
1 minus 1 means 0. So for this Eigen function, how many zeros are there in this interval? Zeros. By only one, zero means no one. So using this formula, uh, how we can see by graph? See the graph? Sin x. Sin x graph we know very well. Uh, this is sin x graph. Zero pi by two uh, uh, pi. This is your pi by two. This is your pi. So between zero to pi, see there is no zeros. Curve never cuts x axis. This is x, this is y. Now, for lambda is equal to 2. So, how many zeros are there? 0. And now, for lambda is equal to uh, second. Lambda is equal how much? 4. Lambda 4. So, 4 means root 4 means 2. 2 minus 1 means 1. Only 1 zeros, zeros are there. So, what is the uh, eigenfunction here? y is equal to c sin n. n value we have taken 2. So C sin 2x. Now sin 2x graph we know, my friends. If you don't know, then uh, how you calculate? C zeros means sin 2x is equal to zero. Zero means sin n pi. So 2x is equal to n pi. So what is x? n pi by 2. Now n is take value. n value 1 means pi by 2. n value 2 means pi. So how many zeros are there? Only one. That is called pi by 2. And uh, when you plot the graph of sin 2x, this is 0, this is pi by 2, and this is pi. This is graph of sin 2x. And uh, see, uh, in between 0 to pi, curve intersect x axis how many points? Only one. So it means this have only one zero. It means only one zero. Similarly, here, no zeros between 0 to pi. So friends, uh, I hope you understand. See, uh, uh, it's very clear. For engineering mathematics, they never ask question based on properties. For competitive exam, they ask question based on properties. So both the case very important. If you are going to write any competitive exam based on mathematics, then SLP is very important and you it's based question based on properties. So if you solve any CSIR question or gate question, you can solve. For engineering mathematics, just know how we calculate eigenvalue and eigenvector or eigenfunction for a given SLP. And most probably they will ask a very simple question. And uh, mostly 99% case, they will never go for general form. They will go for simplest form. Y double dash plus lambda y is equal to zero. Just, just they change the boundary condition. So uh, uh, in the link, I will provide uh, the questions uh, uh, based on SLP. So hope you uh, will you will solve that one. And once you solve, and if you, if you get any problem, please feel free to contact me. Thank you.